In this lesson, you will learn about auto hotkey hotkeys. A hotkey, you can see it as a shortcut key because its ability to trigger action. Say that whenever we press Ctrl Q, then we want to trigger some actions. So I right click on my desktop, I click new and then an auto hotkey script. Then I right click and edit script. So if we want to have a control hotkey defined, control Q, then it will be uh, this hat, oh sorry, this hat thing, then a Q and two colons. If you're wondering why uh, you can remove this, you can use this cheat sheet here. We can see that this hat thing that is control, we could also have a window symbol that was, will be the Windows logo key, a plus, a shift, and so on here. But we will use the control Q. So let me minimize this again. So say that whenever we press Control Q, then we want to open Notepad. So we just say Run Notepad, and then we will have a return. Control S to save, and then we will close it. Double click it to run it, and now we can try to press Control Q. We can see that we open up a Notepad. We can type in another Q that opens up Notepad again again and again. Let me stop this thing. I think we opened up five notepads, but you could see that it worked. Say that we want to combine these things here. Maybe we want to use the shortcut to have the window, the control, the window key, and then a queue. Then we will just edit the script. And instead of this uh, control queue, we will modify it with a window. So let me save it close it and double click it. Here we will type in uh, control Q, nothing will happen. However, if we say control window key Q, then a notepad will open. We can also define some context sensitive hard keys. That is, uh, like in this example, it wasn't really clever that whenever we type in our hotkey, a new notepad open because we only wanted one notepad to be open. So let's right click here and edit our script. The first thing, I'll just remove the window key. We'll just use the control Q as a hotkey. So we go down here and then we will use a if win exist. That is if the window exists, and then we can define that we want to look at all instances of Notepad. If it's named on title, if whatever title it has, we will look at it. And then we'll, when we will class in the AHK, AHK class, and then Notepad, like this. So what we'll do is that if this window exists, if there is a Notepad window, then we will just send a message box to the user, message box here. And we will say something like Notepad is open. And then we have an if and we can have an else. So what this does, it if this is true, then we will run this command. If it's not true, then we go to the else and that one will be the run notepad. So now we created an if that looks if a notepad is open or not. And if it's not open, then we'll run it. Otherwise, we'll send a message box. Let's see in that in action. So control S and we will close this one down. We will double click our auto hotkey script here. And we can try now and press control Q. We can see notepad is open. Try again. And of course, notepad is open. But then if we close down all the notepads and press control Q again, we can see that indeed, we now open up notepad. So now we created a context sensitive hotkey. We can also just look at an active window. So let me right click here edit the script and come over here. Say that we only want to know if we are inside this window or outside like this. Then we can use the if win and then active. So if this is true, then we just want a message box saying that you are in notepad. Else we know that we are outside here. And then we will have a message box here. MSG box, you are not working in Notepad. Awesome. So Control S to save it, close it, and then double click to run it. 
So right now we are in, so press Ctrl Q and we can see that we are in Notepad. However, if we go out here and press Ctrl Q, you're not working in Notepad. So that's it. In this lesson, you learned about hotkeys, you learned about modifiers, and you learned about context-sensitive hotkeys.